It is raining outside, and I'm sitting here thinking about what some old folks told me. They said that I should save for a rainy day. Well, I didn't. Instead, as a poor person, I invested what I had, which was time. Poor people have a lot of time, not money. I invested my time in a company, an organization really, that after 20 years pays me around $1,000 a month in retirement. This video is really made for young people. If you're in high school, you may want to watch it and share it. Old folks already know everything. Anyway, what I'm about to tell you is based on my own personal point of view. And even my math may be bad. But here's the thing. I've always said that you need to think for yourself anyway. Consider what I'm about to tell you as a starting point and try to prove me wrong. Let's discuss the flaws in my thinking in the comments section. That way, together, we learn. Do you have any idea how much I would need in the bank as savings to make $1,000 a month in interest? Think about that. Let's look at that. As far as I know, Barclays Bank pays 1% interest when you have a savings account with them. Maybe others do too. If my math is correct, then I would need to have $1,200,000 in savings just to make $1,000 a month in interest. Do you have $1,200,000 in savings? As I said before, what we as poor people have is time and resources. We live in a country with access to a market that sells stocks. Buying stocks is nothing more than investing in companies that you believe in. That's it. It's all about capitalism. We might as well stop fighting capitalism and start using it to our advantage. That's what rich people do. They buy stocks. They invest in overseas. They just don't tell you about it, of course, because they have accountants that hide their money really well. Well, you can't afford accountants, but you can invest. How? Two ways, really. And I'm talking strictly to young folks here. Old folks already know everything. My first bit of advice is to work for a company where you can retire in 20 years. If you live in the United States, work for the Coast Guard, Navy, a branch of the service, anything that allows you to retire in 20 years at 50% of your income. If you have issues about killing people, don't worry about it. You can go into fields in these branches that have more to do with art, communications, and saving lives. I know what I'm talking about here. Talk to a recruiter and get the facts. Once you're in, work your butt off. I'm talking about pay attention and concentrate. If you join at age 20, imagine this. At age 40, you will retire. So, to repeat myself, work your butt off, make your advancements, and then retire. Look around you at 40-year-olds and look at what they're doing. The second thing to do is to invest in the stock market. Start today. You can buy stocks for as little as $4 per trade. I'm telling you this is the way to go. Yes, absolutely you could lose your money. But consider this. You have a brain. Use it. What would you rather invest in? Horseshoe manufacturing or food production? No, not everyone can own a horse, but everyone must eat. So it is all about using your brains as far as investments are concerned. If you don't know anything about investment, use free education and learn. Go to Yahoo Finance and read all about it, or go to MSN Money and read all about it. It's free education. And by the way, you have experts at both of these sites, and there are many other sites like this, and they will tell you what they know. While you're there, you may want to set up phantom portfolios. Of course, it's not real investment, but it gives you an idea how the stocks that you have chosen will grow. Later, go ahead and set up real accounts based on the education that you have acquired. In the meantime, and while you're there and you have your phantom portfolios, then input some stocks and watch it grow or not. If you have very little money, make a game out of it. Buy penny stocks. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest four right now. You don't have to follow my advice, of course. Do your own research. But buy penny stocks like Invisible Skin, Talon Zipper, Bioscience, or Food. On the screen, you'll see the ones that I'm suggesting and see what they cost today. If you have money, of course you'll want to buy stocks like General Electric, Ford and Darlin. Buy low and sell high. Buy low and sell high. You may also want to look into overseas investments. 
Now, here's where the rich people have it all over the poor people. They invest overseas because they have accountants to know to do that for them. Do you remember that company that made tons of money in Iraq and then, with the helps of friends in high places, moved their headquarters overseas? No taxes to the U.S. Okay, but once again, to repeat myself, you may also want to look into overseas investments. Don't do anything illegal, of course. You may want to learn how to do it legally. As of today, Jamaica is a great place to invest. This is my personal opinion, and I'll tell you why. The Jamaican dollar is worth one cent American. That's bad for Jamaica and good for investments because I don't think Jamaican is going to stay this way for long. I don't know much about anything, as you can tell, but I can tell you this. The Jamaican people are going to do something about it, and that situation will get better. Go to Burita.com or to the Jamaican Stock Exchange and see what stocks are selling for these days. Remember, one dollar Jamaican is worth one cent American. As of today, that stock that is selling for four dollars and sixty-three cents Jamaican is actually worth only four point six three cents. In other words, let's put it in real terms. A carton of cigarette is about fifty dollars. That fifty dollars minus four dollars to trade could buy you over 970 shares into a company there. Think of money in terms of what it does and not for what it is. Five dollars is a meal. Five dollars in your pocket is doing nothing. It is a piece of paper in your pocket. So, you now have questions, don't you? And that is good. Use the internet to get answers. Invest in yourself today uh, let's see where you are in a year or two, five years from now, ten years from now. You buy a lot of tickets, right? Why not get into something with a little better odds? By the way, that 50 bucks you spent on a carton of cigarette last month, where is it today? One more thing. Don't tell people what you're doing. Do it for you. Besides, the uninitiated will only laugh at you because they know better, right? Just remember what I said. Just believe that I don't know what I'm talking about. So, think for yourself and find your own answers. Oh, that rain. Did you know that I just love the rain?